So another type of photograph is what we call vertical photographs. That is the second type. That vertical photographs, these are photographs taken from the air when the camera is placed vertically above the object at an angle of 90 degrees. That we have what we call vertical. The first one is horizontal. These vertical, they are taken when the camera is vertical above an object at an angle of 90 degrees. Normally, they are taken in the air. So, as we can see in that uh, a diagram there, we can see that this is the aeroplane. It has a camera. So, now down there is a tree. So, now the aeroplane, the camera is taking or is capturing that, that object, that tree. You can see the angle there. This is 90 degrees. So, the, the object is vertically below the camera at an angle of 90 90 degrees. So the type of photograph which is going to be taken is what we call the vertical photograph. Uh, so we have the characteristics of vertical photographs. So among the characteristics, the first thing it is taken when the camera is placed vertical above the object, that one we have seen it. Then another, they show one side of the object which is the top view. Like uh, horizontal. Horizontal we said they show one side. But the opposite or the difference is vertical, they show only the top view. So we are going to see only the top of the, the top side of the object. But uh, horizontal, we see the front or that front view, which is facing the camera. Then another characteristic of vertical, they show, they cover a large area. So zinachukue neo kubwa kuliko horizontal, horizontal photograph. Kwa sababu ndege, yani those aeroplane, they are normally at high at high altitude or height. They do not show the sky. They do not show the sky. They, they cannot show the sky because the camera is facing it down. So they cannot show the skyline. And then another one, size of the features is progressively becoming smaller from center to outwards. It is the difference from the other horizontal. That in vertical, the size of the camera, the size of the features becomes smaller Feature ambazo takazokuwa kuba zinakuwa katikati in the center. Then kama vile you go away from the center, unakuta kwa mba size ndio na yanapungua. So they are used in map making because they are being less scale distortion and covering large area. These are the photographs which are used in map making and also they are taken by aircraft, see, balloons, uh, we call them alien balloons. So like a, a good example of the photograph is there. You can see so you see we normally we see only the top parts of the photographs you see how it looks like that is a vertical photograph it was taken by an an aeroplane or the camera was in the air so the uh, last one we are going to see the advantages and disadvantages at uh, the first advantage they are used in map making you have seen is the type of uh photographs which are used in map making like a horizontal, that horizontal they are used in a field sketching. Then they have less scale distortion. Kwa sababu gani zinatumia katika map making kwa sababu zinakuwa na less scale distortion. Sio kama horizontal. So they cover a large area. Unlike horizontal. Horizontal zinachukua eneo dogu lakini uh, vertical zinachukua eneo kubwa. And then... They can be used in remote and impenetrable areas such as swamps, dense forests, and top mountains. Kuna sehemu ambazo atuwezi kufika. Kwa mfano, katika horizontu lazimo ende sehemu uchukue picha. La, so, lakini kuna sehemu kama vile dense forest, kuna wanyama on the top of mountain, kilimanjaro. So, we cannot take photographs there, but we can use these vertical photographs to capture the, the photographs. So, the last one are the disadvantages. The first one, they are difficult to interpret and need skill. They are very difficult. Features on a can. It's now two top features. Then they are affected by weather condition like a cloudy cover and the rain. That one is clear. They are very expensive to produce. As you see, they are normally taken by aeroplanes and many others. And then they are not easy to determine the relief and the height of area. It is not easy to, to know the relief of the area. And they are not selective like the other horizontal photograph. All of photographs, they are not selective. They show each and everything, so they may show any required data. So that is the end. So we shall begin from there and see the last type of photograph.